Hey, here we go again. <clears throat> Sunday again. Been burning rubber today, busting a pop. I wanted to show you something real quick. This is something I got. This is a uh, power planer. This is uh, kind of like a, a sander on steroids. Um, <sighs> rather than hand planing, I needed it because I'm making this wall that is crooked kind of angled and everything else on the other side is straight so the 2x4s would have interfered with the wall board so I had to fix that. But the real project today, oh yeah, you see all this debris out here. Real project today was building a uh, pass-through. Cat's afraid. This is the pass-through. <sighs> This is between the, the metal building and the, uh, the house. Got it done. Working right now on the staircase. Ran out of insulation foam. I had to actually hand cut the wood on that roof there to fit these ribbings. And then uh, I did some other fancy footwork to uh, make sure that it didn't leak. Um, I have a very small gap between the two. I could have fixed that by cutting the uh, floor plate and then sliding it back in. And uh, I'll be honest with you, um, we have a storm coming and I didn't have the time to play finesse. So I'll fix that later. Right now we're building the steps leading into our house. Yes, I took the barrier out so now we can actually walk between the two places. I'll show you the outside here in a little while. I'm going to uh, continue building my stairs here, try to get that done. But the whole building was put up yesterday. Floor, as you know, you saw a video uh, where I did the floor. Uh, pylons I guess you'd call them into the ground the concrete and uh, I built pre-built the base in the shop here in the house pulled this wall down and then slid them in that gap you see right there that's simple <clears throat> I bought one sheet of very expensive plywood three quarter inch for this floor and of course they're only four by eight this room is larger than 4x8 uh, in width so I figured you know that's gonna be under the stairs nobody will ever <laughs> know it's even there so I cut a slit separated it so you can see it's it's about four inches shy of the width it needed to be and once I'm done building the steps you'll never even know that was there because the steps will be over top of it Yes, I'm cheap. All right, we'll go back and and I'll give you a jingle here a little later and show you the outside if it's not storming. I got to get this done. Oh, I have a cat in here now. He's like tripping out. All right, we're back again. End of the day wrap up. Sunday, another long one. Ran out of wood. There's the staircase. I don't know if you can really see, you know, maybe if I go back here into the master bedroom and then go back here, yeah, maybe. See, the two bottom ones are just temporary and then it goes up and goes in. So one, two, three, three steps. They're nice and solid. It's comfortable. No head issues. Sealed it all up with some of that spray and nasty foam stuff, which I also did. I got that done, but now because of all the dogs and cats, I also had to finish something else. Well, I had to finish it anyway, because I don't want the fumes from the garage. So I put in my new steel door here. As you can see, I've pretty much goobed the insulation on 
seal that puppy up. Yeah, and the actually this is the normally would be your outside, but uh, we didn't want to do that. We're different. And then you step into the shop. I just really see a lot of foam on this one. I made a mess. Nah, I'll trim it all off later. It's no big deal. Good solid door. Don't have deadlock, so there. I bought this at a surplus store. So anyway, so that's that's what that looks like. It's been raining. We have that storm come in. Gooey gooey. Uh, got a lot of work to do out here. Okay. Alright. So let's see. Let's go back over here and look. That's where she looks like now. Completed. Getting almost there. Got a guy coming out to give us a quote Monday tomorrow on uh, the steel siding to match the house. I mean to match the the pole barn part we're gonna do the whole thing tear all this garbagey wood off and then overlay it um, and I don't mean the blue part uh, all the trim boards and all that will come off I still got to put a roof on up there I mean I got tar paper up there I got the ventilation hose so we're, we're pretty good along pretty good along here got a lot done this weekend so anyway you see my scrap piles growing. It's growing, it's growing. All right. Well, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, yeah, that's all I did today. Take a quick gander at the herd. All hanging out, munching. All right. Talk to you later.